Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here, responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. I like how your profile picture on your Facebook page shows off you and your dog. So you see, like, it shows all the work you're doing. It's like you're on a lawnmower, which is cool. Then it shows off your pickup truck on the cover photo, which looks good. I like how you mention all the services you do here. So like planting, spraying for mosquitoes. Let's see what other ones you got here. So you have planting, shrub, bush, maintenance, mowing, pressure washing. So it's good you list all those there. Okay, is then going down. Yeah, that was for a previous conversation. So going down here. Yep, good. You got some photos here. Even it's good how you have other posts to update all your customer base about what's going on. Yep, showing off your equipment. And then going up here too. So one thing you can do on your Facebook page, you can actually make a setting so that people can book appointments right there. And then going to your about, it's good you got your phone number listed here. People can message the page, but I'm not seeing a website. I'm gonna show you how you can actually use a website to your advantage. So when you search for landscaping in Memphis, Tennessee, here's what pops up. This guy right here, Escape, they're actually advertising on page one. So they're renting that space. And when we go past that, we get into the map portion of Google, Top three people here get the most traffic. So Memphis landscape, Bluff City landscape, and Picture Perfect landscapes. Once we leave the map portion, we get into the organic section. And having a spot here on page one is key. Like it's like owning that spot. And when, a little later, I'm going to show you some stats about ranking on page one. So we got Yelp as Angie's List have the top two spots in Home Advisor. It looks like Petite's Lawnscapes is the is the first local site to appear. So we're going to check them out later. And then we got Better Business Bureau, Mid South Irrigation, Best 15 Landscapes, let's see Thumbtack, the Memphis Landscape. I think we saw them before. They're at, they're they have a spot in the in top three of maps as well as right here on page one. And then there are more ads. So here's the stack for you. So we'll go down. So 91.5% of Google traffic actually goes to page one. As soon as you leave page one and hit page two, it goes all the way down to 4.8%. When you hit page three, it goes to 1.1%. Then page four and up is almost nothing. You're getting breadcrumbs. So if you're not on page one of Google, it'll just be much harder for people to find you there. In addition to 47% of the time, people conduct a Google search. They're actually trying to find a local business service. So let's take a look at petitelandscape.com. So okay, they have like their they have a clickable phone number, they got their email address listed there, they have some nice pictures. They tell us a little bit about them, all their services. So some things that Google actually looks for when ranking a local business website, you want to have authoritative content on your homepage, all about the services you provide. So you want to have between 1,000 and 1,500 words. That's definitely one thing. But another thing too, when building your website. Or if you decide to build one, you want to make sure you always have to ask yourself, what's the first action you want the user to take when they land on your website? So, Because you're a business, you want to make sure they have a means to contact you. It's always best to have the, a clickable phone number at the top left. That's the way they can get you, contact you through a mobile device. And people's eyes usually start on the left-hand side. And then to the right, you want a contact form. That way they can reach you via email. Right above that contact form, you want to say something like get a free quote, get a free estimate. They'll give them more incentives to actually fill out the contact form. Another thing too, for each service page, you want to have between 500 to 750 words. Let's we'll, we'll check out one of their service pages. Okay, so like, like landscape design installation. It doesn't look like they have that 500 to 750 words, but that's definitely something you can one up them there. And having like great content too, it's usually too, the more pages you have, the better, the more page, it'll be more like, more different ways people could find you so you can actually make like blog articles all about landscaping you can mention like oh what's the best equipment to cut grass or what's the best type of soil for like this grass or to grow these trees and you can also even do location pages about each place you service so not just like Memphis Tennessee maybe you want to service some of the suburb areas maybe you want to go to Germantown Lakeland Brunswick Arlington Millington maybe Jericho go out there Marion Maybe you go all the way down to like Georgia or the other bordering states too. Maybe Piperton, go all the way all the way out there, or Oakland. Going back here. So like yeah, having like content is necessary, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. 
you need to think also need a thing called backlinks to rank. So what a backlink is is when you put your website link onto another website, but not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. Think about it like this: ranking to the page one of Google is just like being the new kid at a new school. Yeah, just because like just because the kid is good looking, has a great personality, and comes from a good family, doesn't mean he's going to be popular day one. Same with like a new website could have great content and look good, but at the end of the day, you have to win the votes and confidence of your peers and all the popular kids. And Google acts as who the judge of the popular kids at the school are. You know, um, so if you put your website link onto say homeandgarden.com and they give you a follow, Google would see them and be like, oh, homeandgarden.com likes this new kid. We're going to move him up the rankings. You want to find more and more of those types of sites to link up to. If you put your website link onto a new website called johnslandscaping.com and they gave you a follow, Google would see them and be like, oh, a new kid vouching for a new kid. His opinion doesn't mean anything. We're to keep him ranked where he is. So I'm going to show you an overview of petiteslandscapes.com. So they rank for 99 organic keywords and they have 700 backlinks. So one trick you can use for getting backlinks, you can see who your competitors are linking to and link up to those same websites. So let's check out some of the keywords they rank for. So like landscaping Memphis is definitely one you want to rank first. You definitely want to mention you do landscaping in Memphis. That's searched 350 times a month. Maybe like landscaper Memphis, Memphis and landscaper. Like, let's see another one. Like, yeah, landscaping in Memphis. It'd be, if you do hardscapes, that could be another one that's searched 20 times a month. Even back to the other services you do, too, on your Facebook page, I saw, like, pressure washing, so you can rank that. And let's see what other one. So these are all, like, landscaping-related keywords. Like, lawnscapes, or maybe lawn care could be another keyword, too. Let's just go back here to the Facebook page and see, check that out. Hold on a second. So, like, you can do like insect control or pest control, like insect control. You can make a keyword on that. Like mosquito spray, like, yeah, planting, yeah, shrub or bush maintenance, or like shrub trimming, bush trimming, like bush planting, even the, yeah, mowing too. Those could be other keywords. And another thing too, um, to rank in the Google Maps portion, in the top three, you need a thing called citations. So what a citation is, is the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. So Petite Lawnscapes actually has a citation because they have their address right here and their phone number. And you want to have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. However, having way more citations isn't enough to rank ahead of them. You still need to have that website with authoritative content and juicy backlinks. If you have that high-powered website, in addition to way more citations than all your other competitors, then you'll be way ahead of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.